Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Well, I am working on my axe today. This is that Collins Boys Axe uh, that I did a review on. Uh, I believe the video was called like uh, Best Budget Axe or something. Something along those lines. But anyhow, um, if you leave a, an axe hanging in a garage for too long, uh, the handle will get dried out. And then uh, when wood dries, it shrinks. And what happens, in, of course, the head comes loose. The next time you go to swing it, the head comes loose. And uh, that's exactly what happened to this one. So I don't know if that happens to the really expensive axes, but I can't afford those really expensive axes, so I get ones like this. And, uh, you know, you just kind of got to learn how to work with them and uh, do the right things with them. I believe I saw Wrangler Star do a video very similar to this. So uh, I can't remember what kind of axe it was, but I, if I remember right, it was a more expensive axe. So... Uh, this is like a $20, $25 axe. So anyhow, uh, basically what you want to do, uh, of course you don't want to use water on wood. You want to use some kind of oil. And uh, you can use uh, neat's foot oil. You can use um, uh, boiled linseed oil. Uh, today I just have, this is something I use for uh, my leather work. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this. And it doesn't really take that much, but it takes some time. So I'm going to put this on the whole handle, but for right now, uh, just for the sake of this video, uh, I'm just going to uh, make it so it soaks down into uh, where this head is put on. So basically all I really do, it's pretty simple. Uh, ain't going to cost you a whole lot of money. The linseed oil is probably what's going to cost you the most. Uh, or whatever oil you use. Uh, I actually prefer to use boiled linseed oil for this, but I don't have any on hand, and since I was out here working in the garage, uh, working on some Kydex stuff, uh, I just thought I'd go ahead and put this in the vise, and just go ahead and get it started soaking. So, uh, if you put one of your handles in the vise, don't cramp it down really hard. Uh, I realize that's probably, uh, you know, a no-brainer for most people, but you never know. Some people might do something like that. So I'd hate to see you ruin your axe handle because you crunch that wood and it will snap right there. So basically all I do, put some duct tape around it, the very top. Cut it just short of the head and then kind of match it up. What you're doing is you're just kind of, leave, kind of basically making a pocket with your duct tape right there and I'll tip this up get a little closer and maybe see it a little better but uh, that's basically what I'm doing I'm just kind of making a cup there so and then like I said simple stuff here just pour it full of oil make sure that it's not seeping down through on the sides uh, you might probably want to use a little better duct tape than what I'm using here today this is dollar store stuff uh, I'm all out of uh, Gorilla Tape, and that's what I would prefer to use. That's what I recommend using. But this is going to do all right. I have already soaked this once, and I'm just doing a second, uh, doing it a second time for the sake of the video to show you guys, and just to absolutely make sure that it's getting plenty of oil down through the handle. So, uh, like I said, after I get done with this, I will, uh, you know, after it soaks for a while. I usually let it soak overnight, and I'll come out and check it every couple hours, maybe put a little more oil in it if it needs it, and uh, until you start seeing some color uh, down below where the oil has soaked through. And then I'll sand out some of the rough edges on the handle. Uh, these these cheaper axes, they don't uh, do a great job on the handle, so kind of smooth some of the surfaces out, make sure there aren't any hot spots where I like to hold on to it, and then I'll cover the whole thing with oil. So... Uh, and I'll show you that here a little later. All right, guys, so this has been soaking overnight. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the duct tape off here. And I'm going to get me a towel and wipe a little of the excess oil off of here. It does kind of seep down through past the uh, duct tape a little bit, soaking overnight. But uh, if you can see there, it soaked in really, really good. So, uh, you know, you can always give the give your axe a couple little uh, taps. I usually do this on the floor, but 
just to make sure that that is set down in there. And this was almost flush at the top of the axe head when uh, when I bought it. So uh, really uh, tapping it down and then putting the oil in it really makes a big difference. Uh, I'm going to sand, like I said, I'm going to sand some of these uh, rough edges just a little bit. Put a light coat of uh, oil on it and then I'm going to take it out and uh, give it a few swings make sure it's set in there good. I got this chunk of stuff that's just kind of here needs split up. It's been drying for quite a while, but this is just kind of to test. Make sure that head isn't going to come flying off again. Alright guys, so I just wanted to show you that real quick tip. Uh, it's a very easy, easy way to uh, get your axe handle to uh, tighten up on your head. So I am back in the garage and back to some Kydex projects. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Check out uh, uh, countryprepper.com. I have a new blog post on there from a fan submission. So it's a long read, but uh, well worth the time. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.